Hey folks, this video is gonna get kind of loud, so turn down the volume. Welcome to day eight of my holiday vocal advent calendar. And today we're working on calling, how to access a louder singing or speaking voice by using a very particular head position. So to feel the sensation, I want you to differentiate two types of healthy yelling. And you have to imagine that you have some noisy neighbors to do so. So I want you to differentiate what it feels like to yell to your next door neighbor versus yelling to your upstairs neighbor. So you have to imagine like they're playing their holiday music way too loud. And you're gonna shake your finger at the wall and say, stop that! Notice how that feels, so try that. Mute me, shake that finger and yell stop that. Excellent, that's one sensation. How does that compare with raising your head to the ceiling, shaking your finger and yelling? Before you do that, make sure you are in neutral alignment your ears are over your shoulders and you're just raising the head. So you're not sticking your neck forward, ears over your shoulders, then raise the head, shake the finger, yell on the count of three, you're gonna yell, stop that. Stop that! How does yelling up differ than yelling forward? Try that a couple times and see if you can compare what yelling forward versus yelling up feels like. For most folks, you'll notice that yelling up feels easier than yelling forward. And the trick is getting that sensation while looking forward. So stop that, stop that. Guys, it's too loud, turn it down. It's gonna be easier to make that sound if you can migrate the head up sensation to the head forward communication. Does that make sense? This one takes a while to play around with, but see if you can feel the ease of that healthy yell, which is different than trying to drive your speaking voice up high. That's not what we wanna go for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day nine.